Hi there, dear friends of the RimWorld, and welcome to chapter 13 of my royalty playthrough. So, it's winter, and, um... Uh, I left the colony off at a very exciting point, so, um, I'm... I have to build this thingy here, and once it's done, I have to, uh, protect it for 36 days, and that's gonna be the point where Lumi will gonna be... Promoted to the rank of a Praetor, and uh, I think that sounds like she's a big shot in the uh, in the Empire. Then, so what's going on? Alpha started a social fight with Eric. <laughs> okay, Eric called Alpha's aunt a flamingo. This drove Alpha into a rage, and he began a fight. Okay, that's that's rude, man. So <laughs> I really love those thingies. These these. The social interactions, especially the reasons why they're fighting, are really, really funny. So, I don't know. I'm the only person really liking the, these a lot, but <laughs> I don't know. If you're if you're sharing the humor here, if, just feel free to drop one in the comments below. Some reason for a social fight you guys remember that made you giggle. That was not the best one, the flamingo here, but uh, we're going to see. Anyways... Let's keep going here. Um, it's quite a big thing to build. Let's check. I need 128 uh, sandstone blocks and 56 granite blocks. I think that should be achievable, though. That's that, and that's that. I already have everything for that. Nice. Okay, so... Let's see. I did a lot of thinking uh, during the day, and I I think <laughs> I came to the conclusion that it's about time to uh, fortify this uh, this whole place and build up a build up some real serious uh, defenses. So I really look forward to the next like I think the next five to ten episodes will be the fortification of this place and turning this whole area into a real fortress. This is going to be fun, but we're gonna need tons of steel. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna, we're gonna need tons of steel and components and steel and components and again steel and components, because. I gotta say, I have, uh, I really like to use, uh, turrets, and I really like to abuse the fact that I don't have friendly fire enabled, so. If you don't like this strategy, well, you can, you can do it differently, but this place will have a lot of, uh, intermixed, uh, security turrets in the base. You couldn't do that without friendly fire. Uh, if it was enabled, but honestly, the game is still hard enough, believe me. It's still ha easy enough to lose somebody, even if only the enemies are shooting at you, don't worry. <laughs> but I think it's a matter of personal taste with a friendly fire thing. Maybe I'm going to do a series one day where I will play it with friendly fire, even combat extended. So... Combat Extended is something I never touched, but it sure sounds like fun once you're in it. But I saw a lot of videos about the the, uh, the mods here, and the mod pack, and most people were quite frustrated after p after using it, so I was like, nah. <laughs> Frustration, I don't need that. I'm not bored enough with Rimworld uh, yet to, uh, to pick such things, but maybe one day. So... Enough of the rambling. Let's do... Let's do Imperial work. I'm gonna... Uh, micromanage Dawn a little bit today. <laughs> because I really want to get uh, this monument done. So, fun thing about this monument is that... Uh, I'm gonna show you here for those who tuned in at this point. So, if any piece of it is destroyed, Cosby's enforcement system will activate and a pack of six manhunting mega sloths will arrive. I, I am standing under the threat of six manhunting mega sloths attacking my base. If one p 
piece of this thing gets destroyed for the next... Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. A part of me really wants to trigger those uh, Mega Sloths because it sounds sure like a... like an exciting adventure to be raided by, <laughs> by something like this, but... Then again, it sounds like a stupid idea. <laughs> <coughs> so Oh, we can do a harpsichord now. Can be crafted an art bench or smithy, okay. So let's reach search the piano just right away too. I don't care. These uh technologies I will need at some point, no matter what, so Right now I'm honestly a little bit indecisive about the technology. I would need to uh, build a new uh, a, a research lab to proceed here, but I think this section should be some something to to play around to. Maybe flak armor too. Maybe flak armor more than the piano part. I don't think that I need a piano yet. I'll need a piano when Lumi turns into a countess. That doesn't happen by accident, I think. I hope. So... Oh well. I'm gonna give Don a break. He's going to watch some TV. I love that. So... Just some good old mining business here. I really need to expand my storage area. I just looked at that and I was like, damn. We need more space. We sure need more space. Okay. This is a lot of work, gotta say. Let alone hauling these materials over there is a lot of work. How much time is there left? Eight days. Hmm. This one is really beautiful, I gotta say. We had to build this to claim the, uh... To, uh, let Hornet claim Lumi's title in case of her death. I'm sorry. Got a little bit distracted while planning those power, power conduits for a moment. There we go. Because I, I just decided that this place needs a little bit of light. And also, I think this is a good place to, to drop some art. Oh, there we go. We have some horses. Exciting. I'm happy. Horses are so good because they can haul. And once they start to breed, I will have a constant uh, replenishing um, source of... Pack, pack animals with hauling capabilities. Gotta love horses. Okay. Oh, Belsus is working so damn slowly while constructing, but uh, I feel like I need more people, but you hear that pretty much every episode from me, so. I don't know. I usually only start being happy once I have about a dozen. Uh, colonists. Everything before that feels like not enough. And honestly, sometimes even after I have a dozen, I can keep, uh, I ke can keep enlarging my plan and enlarging my plans to to create more work for them. No problem. <laughs> okay. So, how's this going? Well, two. More light. I don't know. Let's do it like this. 
<clears throat> I have an idea of how to do this. Wonderful. Okay, we're we're proceeding not exactly in the speed I would wish to, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just wondering what kind of trouble will uh, hit us next because it's so damn peaceful. I mean, I can live with it with some peaceful times, but I don't know. My danger senses are tingling. An excellent granite table. Look at that. Wonderful. Beauty value, too. It wouldn't be beauty without uh, beautiful without the uh, excellent work. The other one is poor. Okay. Contrast. That's art, friends. Okay. Hmm. Well, gotta say, it's an interesting shape. I wouldn't have built that uh, on my own. That's what I like about these building quests. They, they add shapes and structures into my base I wouldn't usually play around with, and uh, I appreciate that because this invites me to do things I wouldn't, I wouldn't do normally, and that's always a good thing. Seriously, it's always a really, really good thing. So. Yeah, I figure what we're what we're going to do. This is going to be the Imperial Garden. That's what we're going to do. Now I got it all sorted out. Um Yeah, we're going to wall this off. This is not for the plebs. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to be is this actually necessary? I don't think so. Let's see. I hope they'll not build uh, roofs here once the, these walls get done, but, uh, well, I'll check out once the stuff gets done. You can remove roofings uh, without and without problems anyway, so this will be the Imperial Garden. Let's enhance that across the series. I like the idea. This makes good use of this area, and I can expand the the palace area more into this direction. And here's gonna be the place where the workers live, and this all can be the luxury and revelry area. Wonderful, wonderful. It's gonna be nice. Even the back door for the invaders is here. Oh, well, maybe I'm gonna close that later. <laughs> gonna see, but. Plans are evolving here, friends, and that's the point I really appreciate about every single RimWorld game. I look at my base at the end of the uh, a uh, few hours like this. I look at the place, and I feel like it's always a new thing. It never really repeats. It amazes me. I mean, on the other side, I'm I'm not really an optimizing player. If you look at this. Uh, what I'm doing here, if you're trying to optimize your gameplay, this is this is crap. <laughs> there are lots of different approaches how to play RimWorld, and that's what I love about it. But, well, my designs withhold the highest difficulty levels. Well, I don't play Merciless, but uh, I sure play uh, Savage difficulties, and these designs work there. So, it seems to be okay what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> so... But as with the construction work, I feel like I would really, really need some, 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 some guy to to do more work for me. I don't know. So this leaves me with the next question: Where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna head with the animals? I think it's gonna be here. Like this whole area is gonna be for the animals. I already have the hay grass here, and. I'm gonna be walling it off a little and 
Then they even have a nice pond here. I like that from the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's speed up this night a little. <clears throat> I was uh, just... Sometimes I like to do a night a little bit slower to uh, look at this place and start planning and... Uh, and also need to strengthen this area. I don't. I, I haven't really decided yet what I'm gonna do about this. This also is a very, very, very good area to uh, actually uh, use this choke point to uh, create some nice uh, kill zone. That's why I didn't seal it off yet. So, nobles need help. What do we have here? To accept this quest, you need a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirements of Baroness Euphemia. <laughs> Good one. No, not gonna happen so soon. Euphemia will send four champions to assist you under your control. Wow. Champions, whatever that means. And I'm gonna have four guests. And I get... <laughs> big one. That's a big quest. But, uh. I mean, six royal favor and some nice, uh. things. Well. I would be absolutely delighted if I, uh. would feel capable of doing this, but no. Sadly, no. So, steel's going. running really, really low right now. We gotta do this, friends. We gotta do this. We have to open the walls here. So... At the end of uh, two or three more episodes, there will be... I guess there will be, like, almost no steel left on the map. I'm afraid this will be... ...happening. Oh, wait a sec, I actually, when I was checking some footage, I, I actually saw that Alphaz was still having uh, the same food as Lumi, and I was like, that can't be happening. Okay, so, um, oh gosh, I really need... I'm really, really missing my uh, quality of life mods, I gotta say. But I'll I'll do it for this series because I feel like this is a vanilla playthrough. I don't want to use all these mods I regularly use because I want to be... Uh, I don't know. I want to give this uh, video series a quite pure look at the DLC. That's really important for me because... I, I really don't want anybody to uh, mistake anything um, for uh, mistake any mod for the actual content of this DLC. That's the goal of this uh, video series. Would be uh, it would be something else. Hornet, are you actually? Ooh, what I'm what am I doing? Stop! What what you're doing? I can I can't do that? <laughs> I actually thought for a moment that that Hornet was a good builder, but uh. Gotta grab Eric when I wanna uh, get the, uh, this done here. There we go. Yeah, Hornet is my mining pro. I got that got that wrong for a moment here. Okay. I have so much wood. I wonder what I should do with that. Cargo pods. Good thing I was expanding my uh, storage. Just Wake up. Okay. I sell it so many times, but uh, I gotta say, wake up is pretty useful to have. It's a very, very good substance if you're in a tight spot, because it can keep people going that uh, are not able to go anymore. <laughs> and that's a good quality. Can save lives if you have a, a some emergency in your colony and your doctor can just toss in some wake up and keep working without uh, collapsing. This can change lives. This can actually change the outcome of a life and death situation. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we're having a problem here. Maybe I'm allowed to deconstruct it, though, because I can't actually uh, finish it otherwise. Roof collapses. Okay. Okay, so the uh, the Mega Sloth attack, I figured it would only uh, trigger once the building is done, because they couldn't reach this point anymore. That sometimes happens that they uh, take the wrong uh, order while building things. My horse has the plague. Hell. Let's give the horse some proper medicine. Seriously, I need this horse. Okay. For a moment I was totally afraid of the possibility that some mega sloths would come around the corner only because I'm touching this thing. These imperial decrees really make you nuts. So, prison area is coming along really nicely. I don't know. I, I think I need to add a uh, jailer's area somewhere here with some recreation uh, options. Make a, maybe a poker table. That sounds good. Poker table at the at the jailhouse block. Thrombos. Oh, thrombos. I'm really tempted. Because right now I'm really strong enough to kill those guys. But then again, I'm... I'm not that, uh... Dependent on money right now. <laughs> Those thrombos don't uh, don't drop steel. Mechanoid attacks would be more useful, but I don't wanna. Uh, I, I shouldn't talk. I shouldn't say that loud. Just keeps jinxing me. So look at that. The trees stepped by uh, stepped uh, at the right places. They're not in front of the doors anymore. They are healing finally. Okay. Um. Why not do biofuel? You can earn a lot of money with biofuel. I like biofuel for that. Most of the time I don't use it for energy purposes because, I don't know, geothermal OP. Sometimes I think these, uh... This is one of my major, uh... Critic points about the energy system. These things are just too good. Geothermal has too little uh, drawbacks. I think sometimes I think like it's just too strong. The only downside is uh, this uh, is the fact that you're forced to build them somewhere you maybe don't want to build them. Okay, be that as it may, it's not really a, an issue here. Compared to pretty much every other uh, energy generation uh, method, which uh, needs either battery building and. Uh, planning of a safe housing for those or a uh, constant flow of resources to keep those things powered compared to this you build a house you build some conduits done <laughs> it's quite simple compared to all the yada yada i did down i did right there before no <laughs> so this shows how good this stuff is Place blueprints. Okay. Sometimes they lose a part of a blueprint. I guess because I deconstructed that, the blueprint didn't get replaced. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason. It's a little bit confusing still, but, uh. It's, uh. I can't decide if, uh, if it's a user problem or a design problem. I think it's more of a user problem. <laughs> okay. There we go. Enabled. Monument completed. We must... We must protect it. <laughs> oh, she immediately ranks up. I didn't re uh, realize that. Okay. So, Lumi's a Praetor now. Her expectations will be... Will never be less than sky high. <laughs> Good start. She must be dressed in apparel of normal quality or better. Ruffle shirt, lady said. We have that. Throne room. Um, column. Oh, good thing I did those columns. I didn't. I didn't expect that. 
end table, dresser. Huh. Well. No problem at that, uh, at those ends. Nice. I'm pleased. So, let's tweak in that psychic amplifier. Smoke pop. Oh, she's a walking uh, smoke pop now? Skip dust ba particles up from under the ground surface to form a thick cloud. Yeah. It's basically a, a smoke pop. Like the name says. Like the bombs or the smoke pop, pop girdle uh, belts. Wow. Hmm. Um. Basically, I think this would be better if she wasn't a, uh, if she was uh, equipped with a melee weapon. I think I'm gonna uh, rethink this because if we look at this, she's eager to go into melee, and if I give her some really good power armor or, or such, which she can wear as a. Uh, as a noble, uh, if I was right. Let's see. Uh, apparel. Yeah, any powered armor. There we are. I wanted to check this for a moment again. So basically, if I give her a power armor and give her that mono sword, bam, smoke pop, and she can't be. Oh wow. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> See you in 10 episodes, Lumi. I really enjoy this so much. Like, before um, the Royalty DLC came up, I played uh, RimWorld of Magic a lot, and uh, this is giving me basically the same feeling without the uh, the... the um, the overpowered uh, feeling Rimworld of Ma Magic had. Like, these skills are quite balanced. Gotta say, it's uh, this is a level 4 skill. It gives a lot of entropy, 35, considering this. Um, but <laughs> this is strong. Like, I have a permanent access to, uh, to Smoke Pop. Bam. Just like that. We're going to utilize this later. Right now it's anti-synergistic because it would uh, hinder herself, but... Uh... Okay. Lumi's way too uh, valuable, though, to uh, center into melee without uh, proper armor right now. That's what I, why I'm not doing it yet. So look at this. Things are finally getting done. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So once these uh, building areas are done, I think I'm gonna start planning the fortifications. Like I'm gonna wait until this zone is finished up, this one this one and that one and then we're gonna talk about fortifications but I think it's gonna end up with something like uh, a defense line towards this direction and a defense line towards this direction and I think honestly I'll try to make some kind of death zone here I don't know I guess enemies coming from the south will try to breach through this wall so Possibly I need to break up this area and uh, do some more uh, defenses over here too, but I'll have to see. I'll have to see. It's hard to predict how the enemies will uh, attack your colony. For me, the best solution in these situations is to be armed in every direction, mostly equally. This consumes a lot of resources, but it sure is the best way to deal with the fact that you never know where they're coming from just like it is. So, let's start to deconstruct some of this and uh, replace the last few wooden walls of the colony. <laughs> there we have it. 
I always enjoy that moment when you're actually replacing the last bits of uh, wooden walling from of your colony. Usually I do it a lot, uh, a lot earlier, but I don't have to replace stuff mod, and right now replacing walls is a pain. Usually it's a, uh, I can do that a lot easier. <laughs> But I look up every day in the mod list and it still isn't updated yet. If you, if any of you guys know a good replacement for this mod, like replace stuff, you know, to just drag and drop a new wall, to just basically do this. If you know which mod does that in version 1.1, be my guest to drop me a comment. Bless you. <laughs> Because honestly, this is uh, seriously ticking me off a little. Because I think Tynan should have fixed that. Honestly, this is this is this is. Uh... No, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. I'm just gonna endure and wait until replace stuff is done. Biofuel. What's next? Hydroponics. Why not? Because I feel like I want to do this devil strand stuff indoors like this is not reliable enough for me I mean I'm gonna see how uh, the next uh, season goes when I planned it at the start of the spring how good it will go if I get a complete harvest I'm gonna reconsider that but uh, hydroponics are always fun OMG, that's a lot of plague. Wow, okay. So my animals are basically all, all pretty ill. So, wow. Oh well, we're gonna see. Let's uh, provide enough animal beds, that's one thing that's really important. Also, I really should, uh, build some uh, animal sleeping beds, like some boxes or some beds. I have the resources to do so. Oh, there are so many things to do. Okay. Call royal aid. Each type of aid may be used for free once, after which you must wait to use it for free again. Wow! Monument will be destroyed. You have built a disallowed building inside. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize that. Shoo shoo. Okay. I didn't know that. Alright. Wait a sec, I'm gonna uninstall that. Wow. So, I can't change that room. Sad, I think this place would have enjoyed some light. Curses. Wow, okay. So, let's not touch the interiors of this room. Got it. Ooh. This was a nasty one. So, some flowers for everybody. The uh, decoration <coughs> options are a little bit low. Hmm. Could bring up some drapes here, too. Like, here. I can't even pick some colors for that. Nice. Hyperweave drape. That would look badass. Okay. 
I'm pretty surprised, but I think it's gonna be just a peaceful day at Lumi's Haven. With lots of plague on your animals. I think that's the worst thing that happened today. Yeah, give me the give me that in, during a late stage pregnant animal. Well. Usually animals uh die a lot less uh from plague than uh, your colonists. <coughs> oh, sorry. I was wise and prepared myself a big glass of water because I was anticipating something like that today. Fire! Mm, that's not really important. Although... <coughs> Let's check the power conduits. Everything okay? Okay. So, I just noticed that uh, it's time to hunt. Starting to run low on food again. But the winter is over, so... That means we can pluck some berries again. Lumi has no food again, you know. It's time to pluck some berries. Always the same with the noble. <coughs> okay. There are a lot of horses here. Uh. Okay, the hostile people are getting more hostile again. Because it's in their nature to be hostile. Quite hostile, isn't it? I'm working on your acceptable food, your highness. A rainy day would be a good day to hunt boomalopes and things like that. So... Yeah, I have Elphos now for the all the plant matters. Oh, I'm so grateful to have this guy. Or is it a her? Okay. <laughs> the gender confusion of Rimworld. So at some point I should be able to cook some fine meal again though. Dawn? Yeah. So, let's add some uh, kibble jobs in here. I don't want kibble to be done out of these precious things. Vegetarian also, no, no. Only kibble out of meat and hay. There we go. Because I really need to uh, get rid of that hay. And can trade kibble quite well, as, uh, too. Camp fuel. Hmm. Maybe not endlessly. Ah, oh, there's this ancient danger thingy. Hmm. Hmm. We could do that by now too. So maybe let's uh, start with 200 kibble and see how much hay they will uh, use with that. Okay. I was really, really surprised about the fact that I'm not allowed to touch this thing. So, I like to look up the, uh... The quest for that, because... No, that's also not the thing. Tremendous construction, no. It's not 
that long. Ugh, where is it at? Hmm. There, Hornet's Inheritance. There's no indication of how long I'm not allowed to touch this. Failing to finish this monument within 20 days. Okay. It seems to me like uh, that's why I, I spent so much time there. Uh, that I'm never allowed to touch this thing. Okay. Oh, well. The royals. The royals and their rules. Why not? <coughs> I wonder if this is true for this uh, area here too, but possibly. Chances uh, chances are quite high, if you ask me. Well, that's okay. It's part of the Imperial Garden. Hmm. I am quite surprised how how peaceful everything is today. Not even the trees are growing in, tr in front of the doors anymore. Um, this makes me pretty suspicious. <laughs> Hydroponics! Wonderful, wonderful. Um, cold snap. Okay, well. It's not that terrible. Smoke pop belts. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to use those for a while. Um, oh, that's a good thing. Let's start with the uh, drug researches. That's a good idea. This stuff is quite useful. So, do I have enough blocks left? Sandstone, a few. So, time to refill that chunk yard. Sandstones, definitely. So, more machinery, more machinery. I'm starting to go a little bit more aggressive about the. Um, resources here on the map because I have plans here's some steel too yeah let's mine that out too no need to wait for that This here as well. And those. I'm sparing nothing here anymore. I just uh, waited with this uh, until I have a real need for those, but uh, by now, I need. I, w I very much need. Thank you. So. <clears throat> Yeah, there goes the cold snap. <coughs> well, well. But it's the first day of spring, I don't mind too much about this cold snap. Because overall, <laughs> we didn't even really start to grow things yet. It's one of the best moments to get a cold snap, I think. Alrighty. So, I'm wondering if I should uh, tame more uh, of those horses, but I... 
I feel like I don't want to take the risk, honestly. Guinea pigs. They are quite useful to breed because their fur is qu uh, worth quite uh, quite a penny. Like here, five bucks each, compared to light leather. Not even two bucks each. Guinea pigger, guinea pig leather is good stuff. It's warm and fuzzy. Now let's take this raccoon too. Alrighty, minus 20 degrees. It's pretty cold for this area. Usually it doesn't get that cold here at all. Me mechanoid cluster. Ah, so. So much about the peaceful day. Okay. So, what do we have here? Pikeman, Blast Turret. Slucker turrets. Wow, this look at this range. This gusting. Wow. Proximity activator. Like Okay, if I touch this they'll awake. This is like a little puzzle here. <laughs> Countdown activator. So, what to do with this situation? Like, this blaster turret is sure is dangerous. I think this is the most dangerous part about that. 15 damage each shot. So, I want to get rid of that. Oh, my, we can look at this stuff. Heavy charge blaster. Hmm. I don't think uh, a, a uh, bolt action rifle will s will uh, go over this range, but I'll I'll sure try. This is a hard uh, encounter. Gotta say, this is a super hard encounter. So, if I get rid of the uh, charge uh, blast turret, though, it's going to be quite easy, but... Uh, for that, we're in trouble. Yeah. Just like I thought, this thing has a higher range. But if I stand over here... I can take cover while shooting at this thing. Okay, so... Nah, we're doing this. Let's uh, let them eat. I think I'm gonna send Hornet for a meal first, too. And then we have to crack this thing open. I mean... I really think brute force would be the best option here. Also, I have EMP grenades. Let's utilize this as well. The EMP launcher didn't uh, wasn't get finished yet. So... Everybody who's uh, well fed and able to fight gets drafted now. Okay. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I'm so tired of this, but uh, I think it's going to take it a little bit longer until I get rid of that. So, we need the dawn as well. This is uh this is a kind one of these situations I really dislike a lot because there's uh, so much potential to just straight out lose somebody in that I 
Oh, so. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, I forgot about something. This is uh, really important. So, is anybody having trouble with the cold here? No, good. Oh, so. Oh, well. Let's wait for Alphas. I really want to be able to disable this uh, mess here. Okay, here goes nothing. So, oh well. I just noticed how late it is, so guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I think this is a very nice spot to kick in with the next episode, so... Yeah, feel free to drop me a comment if you like, or even a like if you like, or even a subscription if you like. Would help help a lot and mean much to me, but if not, I just want to tell you that I'm super grateful for your time and attention you give my work here. And I hope you just tune in for the next episode when we smack this mechanoid cluster. Or the mechanoid cluster smacks us, I don't know. But I think this strategy looks pretty good. Come on by for the next time, and until then, take care, and have a good time. Bye-bye.